بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد وي اسك ذس كويشن وات از ذا ماتر اوف افتر لايف ام سين ذا ماتر ذا فيزيكال ماتر ان فور اكزامبل وات وير وي ليف هير وي ليف اندر اتومز وي ليف اندر موليكول سبستانسز وات ميك اور ذس يونيفرس اند وي اولويز ثينك افتر وي داي واتس غانا هابن and many time we uh, we read many books that saying if you when we die so and so is going to happen angels devils and so on but today i'm going to go more deeper from extracting this subject of this matter i want to extract it more i want to talk a little bit about the philosophers the stone philosopher the stone philosopher many people now they they always search they always search for the in- ingredients What's, what what is it exactly i'm going to talk a little bit briefly about it and then after that i'll extract more with the knowledge of ahl al-bayt with combining many points i need to combine now many points from different sciences for us to know and to conclude what is exactly the the the, the philosopher stone is it real or it's not real does it exist can we make it and all this question i'm going to answer briefly about all this very in very old the people uh, very old time people study about chemistry about physics and till the 1600 some scientists they dis- they said and they conclude that there's no such thing that called the phil- the stones philosopher or the philosopher of the stones whatever you call it and they conclude that this one is just pe- the, it was a fantasy it was fantasy people were fanatizing about why because they said this one it has the elixir of changing ma- metals for example you can bring anything and you can change it for example to gold or gold to to anything you want why because you know the exact substance that they change everything inside that and they they put many mystical theories that this is my exist or my not exist and later after the french revolution the the french revolution and uh, that happened in the 1700 and plus everything start changing they want more these things to be more materialistic they don't want it to be attracted to anything so they start studying things differently and from this all the studies we got whatever we have now whatever we have now is built because of this revolution but whatever we have now is very far from anything spiritual they did not want to attract anything to spirituality what i mean by spirituality not just spirits and human being and all this thing no i meant by for example if you see when einstein came he said matter equal energy you see he gave you uh, uh, that matter is e- equaling energy and so on e equal mc square and then pe- scientists were surprised how this thing equal this, this thing In reality if you go deeper older i mean the, in the old wisdom you will say that scientist they said this equal that in mathematics for example the veil the, when we talked about the human veil is equal in mathematics the square root square root is the veil you know and there's some certain law that govern that if you want to for example say why the ladies in islam and in all in all uh, religion where of where the hijab the veil because allah azza wa jal created in mathematics something called the square root this is what is it exactly for example if you say what is the multiplication what is the division what is the plus what is the minus they have to have something equal in a real life that's why this is the connection it's not just between the matter and it's not just between the energy you see everything is connected together and now if you look at numbers and you look at letters even those ones they have their own energy and they have their own the table of element but we, we yet we're not there we're not there yet we only care about the chemistry while now if you see so, uh, many many scientists they're confirming that the word words when you speak they change the matter the water the molecules of water you see and each one of those ones is they have to have their own element their own energy and we'll, we're not there yet but allah azza wa jal if you look at the, in the quran al-kareem in surah taha you see taha 
it was basically made of voices, not made of words. Even though if we put the ta and the ha next to each other. And this is one of the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You see, everything connected. So Allah Azza wa Jal, He created the word Taha from voice, not from words. Even though we write Taha as a word. And many people think Taha still till this moment is just what? Just a regular word. In reality, it's a voice word, not just a regular word. So, uh, alphabet, it's connected to voice. It's connected to energies. It's connected to number. And this is all connected to the science in general. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He put all this knowledge inside the Holy Quran al and in different books now if we're gonna talk more deeper about the the uh, the, the matter what's what's after life why because what I'm gonna say it's related to this subject mm -hmm. to the philosopher's stone it's related to related to that if you now open internet Google YouTube you search for philosopher's stone all what you see is too much myth nobody understand what is it exactly they say it's a combination of so and so and so and so of chemicals at the very end you will get you should be getting something white or at the hour something red this is basically I'm just trying to define that very fast so you know what I'm talking about why because at the very end you should have something like a stone or just a regular fluid with this regular fluid if you put it in any metal it will change immediately why you were getting the the, se the secret elixir to change anything in life <coughs> And if, if this is true or not, now we're going to confirm it by what? Studying what after after this word. Why? Because people think for you to get the elixir of the sto philosopher's stone, you should kill people, other people. How you kill them? I don't know. They said you bring all this chemical stuff and then you kill few people. You take their spirits and then you put them in this philosopher's stone and you'll be able to change different things. But scientists now, they say, how can we kill people and then uh, take their souls and they keep it inside this, uh, this stone? And this is where the myth will start. And for sure, it's impossible to believe. That's why many scientists, they say, all oh, this is crap. It doesn't exist. But we believe in something that called philosopher's stone, but we still don't, we don't really know what is it. But today, I'm going to show you from the science of the Quran, from the science of Ahlul Bayt, Rasulullah, from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how we connect all those things to understand if this is a myth or not. Now, if we look at how Allah Azza wa Jal made us into this dimension, He made us from, basically, I told you before, what's really important for spiritual three things, yourself, your body, and your mind, right? Those three things. But let's take the whole picture. You are made from self, you are made from mind, you are made from body, your body. This is the three transli transition of who we are. This is this is who we are now. Plus, your anti-matter and what? And the nature. We live in nature. Nature govern where we now where we are now. Govern all the laws, the nature. You see, they call natural selection, nat nat natural law. All those laws are from nature. And then the the, the fifth one is what? Is the anti-matter. Let's suppose now, uh, how we can define that? M the mind is inside what? Inside the self. Your mind is inside you, right? Please, if there's any point you're not understand, you can stop me and you can say, please explain. When you say self, you're saying nafs? Yes. Mind, you, your mind is inside self. How? For example, when you sit down, you're talking to yourself. You will say, my brain, you can stimulate your brain, right? For example, you're riding a car, and you know your yourself. You know it's fake. In which way you're saying to your mind that you are in an airplane, and the airplane is shaking, and now your brain start working as everything's shaking and start working as in a state of emergency, while yourself is making fun of your mind. You see, but what is it exactly? Yourself is using your mind to do the stimulation, while your mind is believing yourself. Is, is it understandable? Okay. So, the self here is the main drive that it's you. But you're using your brain that you're making fun of. And your, and your brain is the tool that inside the matter, the body. And then the body needs the anti-matter to, to, to be in, uh, in balance in life. 
You see, what each one is using the other to stay alive. Ash, can you give an example, please? Like, uh, life example? I just gave uh, the, for the car. Which one? For, so for life? Things, mm. You can psych yourself up, basically. Now, you, like, you make fun of uh, your mind? Yourself, mm. yourself, you, it's you, right? Mm -hmm. When you go, when you sit down, you start talking to yourself. What, what does this mean? This means that your brain and you are talking to each other. The brain is collection of information, yeah. whatever you, uh, collection of experience. Yourself is collection of intelligence. Even though are, you think are the same, but they're not the same. Mm. Yourself know everything. But your brain, you're depending on the, your brain to know all this information. But you're still over that. Because this is what we, you, after we die, this is what will stay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in explanation after. And then all this, all this, they need the antimatter. The antimatter now in physics, what we call it. And in the old wisdom, they call it alam al-mithal. Mithal is your example. It's like the mirror. But the mirror is black and white. It here col col colorful. Over there is a black and white. Okay, we can turn. No. Yes, black and white. Yeah, all this uh, attached. So when someone dies, what's gonna happen? Everything gonna go down except two things. The two things are yourself. The the, the because the mind will go away. You, it will be only you, and then you will take the antimatter. You see, when you sleep, when you sit down. I mean, when you sleep, when someone's sleeping. You will start dreaming about the antimatter you. This is the the guy you see in in the in the dreams. It's you, but this is the antimatter you. That's why Allah Azza wa Jal He allowed you to dream. Why? Because it's taking the other body. Yourself is taking the other body, and then you will going different places to see something in your dreams. This is the antimatter. When someone die, it is impossible verse yani it is if you study physics it's almost impossible to just leave this this world and the anti matter stay here what will happen you will defy all the law of nature it has to go with you and this body that you when you while you're sleeping it will be with you after you die this is basically will be your 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 be it will be the body so anyway over here okay, let's keep yes. it on. okay uh, over here, what's gonna happen? What's happening here? You are taking the essence of everything you created inside you. Why? Because, for example, after you die, you will see the whole truth. Allah Azza wa Jalla in the Quran say what? But you don't depend anymore on your brain and the collection of information you did all your life. Now you know all the truth. But the truth are made from what you made here in life. Because why? After you die, you're gonna continue learning. You see, yeah, yeah. There's there's a level of learn, learning after after someone's die, he will know the, all the truth, but the collection of all the knowledge that you collected it all the time, you you're not depending anymore in your brain to know it because it is inside yourself. Okay, so we continue. After that, Allah Azza wa Jal, He will put you in something called the matter of Harkilias. This is the what uh, this is the matter of Archelius. It is beyond the, the matter. What is it now? I will explain how. When someone, for example, die, his body will be inside inside the earth. We are made from four things: from fire, from water, from uh, fire, water. The four elements: well, fire, water, earth, and air. Why you see why he's smelling? Because there's some some of our parts are made from air and other are made from fire and other are made from earth and other are made from water each one will go to its real essence all those essence they will go down but they will leave the real essence that it's yourself connected it with the antimatter and they will leave to a, a different place that it will be made from different uh, matter that called Hercules those Hercules, because they are the real essence of you, the, you can multiply it by 70. So, for example, after you die in Alam al-Barzakh, what we call it Alam al-Barzakh, it's the place separate this this world with the, the at the very end. Anything you, for example, there, if someone touch you, just one touch, it will be 70 times the multiplication of the touch here over here. 
because over there you are taking two essence you're not taking six the those five essences you see those two are connected directly you you want me to explain more yeah please for example Do you mean senses yeah senses you see th those four things the matter Sorry. those four things that made you that made us now are the wa from water from earth from what even earth is um what i mean earth by the clay. by the clay this is yeah by this is what i meant because all of them inside earth water and and, and so yes so the water the fire yeah all the four elements i'm i'm not going to keep repeating them so we are made from the four elements so each each of those elements they have it has a real essence what 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 do i mean by real essence for example now i have this table if i if i put someone inside i'm trying to reach it you see what's going to happen is there always something blocking me oh mm. this energy. when i take when i take it all i connect the antimatter immediately with the self there is no more middleman you there is four middlemen that that for example if you want to make something your your yourself going to make something it vibrate through four elements and to go to the antimatter. Mm -hmm. Now there is no more elements immediately connected so you yourself with the antimatter. In the essence. In the it. essence. So why you feel it seventy times more? Hmm. You see, you feel it seventy times more. Over that, in that place, is what we call it the Hercules, the Hercules element, and this element is yourself with what with the antimatter together. Only you don't need any more all those four elements. So, if we are gonna talk about, for example. A proof from the Quran will say Allah Azza wa Jal, He mentioned that He said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim فَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ فَرَوْحٌ وَرَيْحَانٌ وَجَنَّةُ نَعِيمٌ Allah Azza wa Jal, He said if you are if this person is from the close people to Allah Azza wa Jal, He will live in Jann مُقَرَّ رَفَرَوْح He didn't say ruh ruh spirit He said ruh وَرَيْحَانٌ وَجَنَّةُ نَعِيمٌ جَنَّةُ نَعِيمٌ This paradise exists here in earth. This is the Alam al barza exists here. This so paradise, said, yeah. Jannah like single or Jannah? Jannah to Naim. Jannah to Naim, I'm sorry. Single. It's one, it's single. So this one, Allah Azza wa Jal, for those good people, Allah Azza wa Jal, He will keep them here. So this is my proof that after someone, he dies, if he's a good person, he will be like in a mini paradise that will exist on earth. And he will let you live in what? In two things. Farawhun wa Raihan. Rauh and Raihan. And those two things what are the antimatter and the self. You see? If we study more what is Raihan in Arabic, it mean what? It means a certain type of flower. And flower is equal to the flower of life. You see, if you look at the Raihan, I want you to search for it. The geometry for the Raihan is it basically is telling you the flower of life that is it you. We are the part of the flower of life. Allah Azza wa Jal created the flower of life from Ahl al-Bayt from Prophet Muhammad, Imam Ali, Sayyidah Zahra, Lady Zahra and Al-Hasan al Hussein, Imam Hasan, Imam Hussein and this is, exists in Hadith Al-Kisa we have the veil Hadith and we are part of that inside it we, we are made as a flowers too Allah Azza wa Jal when he said that فَرَوْحٌ وَرَيْحَانٌ Rayhan is what? is a type of flower because many people they ask why Allah Azza wa Jal is saying here Raihan. What does it what's the relationship between the flower and Alam al Barzakh? Many think many people they kept asking that. And basically people other people said because of the Raihan is they has a beautiful smell and over there Allah Azza wa Jal he wants you to be happy. He wants you to live in a in a paradise that full of beautiful smell. But in reality no, he's telling you that the geometrical form of Raihan it will be there in Alam al Barzakh, which is you. And then Rauh is what anti-matter. You see, if we connect this to the ultimate reality, we'll see that. So, what after? What's gonna happen after that? What is uh, after that? What's what's gonna happen after that? We'll continue. We'll say when the spirit will go away from the body. The spirit will go away from the body after Alam al Barzakh. The spirit or the nas? The spirit. From the body, no, the, I mean the nafs with the, I'm sorry, and the nafs with the antimar, they will be separated. They will be completely separated after alam al-barzakh. How? When 
Israfil alayhi salam, the angel of Allah Azza wa Jal, he will bring the big horn and he will blow the horn. He will the first blow it will be what? The horn of Saq. Saq means when someone is very electrocuted. Like shaking and everything's dying, everything's going away. This is the first one. When he do that, all the people will be died. Will be done. What do the, what do I mean? If someone will ask, every already everyone is died. What do they, what do you mean when you blow it? Everyone will be dead. Everyone is dead already. Separate. Yeah. Why? Because separating everything alone. Are uh, the spirit is alone, the nafs alone, mm -hmm. and uh, everything completely dead. What do I mean by completely dead? It did mean like it didn't exist before. When someone, for example, now, I'll tell you, you'll be dead. How? Because you will go from universe to universe, from this place to other place. But when Allah Azza wa Jalla say everyone will be dead, even though everyone already dead, what do they mean by like it didn't exist? It doesn't exist anymore. This is the first one. The second one is what is the blown of jazb. Jazb is the attraction. He will bring all the souls inside this horn. Why? Because he will do it the third time later, and everyone, everything will be like the day of judgment. The second, the second time, everything will come to that place. When, when they come to that place, what's gonna happen? They can, the first, every soul, every soul of us, it will go inside a hole. Inside this horn, okay? And in every hole, there are six chambers. <laughs> now it's like, it's like a nuclear physics. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly talk about it and then move. I know it's very hard what I'm saying now, but I want you to to go in depth of what how the universe is really created and how Allah Azza wa Jal is managing all that. You see the the if you if the religion it's beautiful if it's kept only by the salat or siyam only in this level. Many people will be happy in this level. I'm not asking every single one of you to be a scholar, but I want you. Allah Azza wa Jal said, if you wanna know me more. The Creator, He's saying, if you want to know me more, the only way you know me by the more you know about my creation. I know it's very hard, but this is how you do basically the push-up for your brain. When you think more about it, your brain will act normal. Even though if you feel it's hard, it is very hard what I'm saying, but later your brain will start give you, giving you, it will be easy for you later. At the beginning it's hard, I know, but later it will inshallah become easy. It, the, so the soul will, will go to the six chambers. The first chamber is Allah Azza wa Jal, I'm just gonna f flash. Allah Azza wa Jal, He said He created everything what? In six days. You can, now you can relate things. Why six chambers? The first chamber is this, the anti self. What we call it in Arabic, Alam al Mithal. The anti self. When you go inside, this is the first thing. Allah Azza wa Jal, He takes the minus of you, right? Now if I, let's say, this is an existence, this is what, number one, this one bottle of water, right? For it to be an existence has to go to minus infinity, zero, and then one. Okay? Zero, minus infinity, zero, and then number one. So Allah Azza wa Jal, if He's gonna bring the, all the souls, what's gonna happen? He's bringing the minus infinity, and after that, the, holograph, the holographic, it's number two, and then, it's the nature, he will give all the nature. Allah Azza wa Jalla, he mentioned that in the Quran. He said, خَلَقَ الْخَلْقَ فَهَدَى He created everything and then he put huda. Huda means what? The nature. I mean, it's huda is like the guidance. But he guided everything. You know, for example, when you see a bird, when Allah, when he's like immediately from the shell, he opened the shell, he cried and he want food. Who told him that you need to start crying and because... You need food. Who told them that? His nature. Allah Azza wa Jal, He put had, uh, this as Huda. And then after that is, he, cre he gave him the self. He gave him the identity. And then after that, the spirit. And then after that, the mind. All these inside those six chambers. When he blow them up. So, the third one, when Israfil alayhi salam, this angel, he will blow it back. All the, uh, all the creation will come back. And it will be the day of judgment. And in the day of judgment, you will have six elements. In, in uh, earth, how many elements we have? Five. You see? And at the day of judgment, you have six elements. Over here, we have five. Between those two, we will have only what? Two elements. 
you see we have number what five two six and that's very important number I'm sorry no over here we have we now we live in four five element with the antimatter in in the in the in the alam al barzakh after that here we live in two element and after that we live in six element mm. you see and each one is very important when for example a person he will come now and he will talk now i'm now i'm gonna go back to the philosopher's stones if you say a stone it will change stuff inside matter what does it mean it does it has certain things that is from alam al barzakh what is it if you want to bring a stone that will change something here you need to take the essence of the four elements you see the essence of water the essence of uh, air the essence of earth and the essence of water i mean the essence of fire and for you to define e each one of them you need to study the what you need to study the fibonacci numbers and how allah azawajal created those four he created for example there is a flower of life for earth there is a flower of life of nature but there is no flower of life for fire and i want you to think about that because allah azawajal he mentioned that in the quran as i said allah azawajal he created for the fire what a tree it is like a tree of life but it is a tree of flowers mm -hmm. and this is how the miraculous way that will show you that i'm not saying here something not not right you see because if i if you ask any any scientist now you, you will say oh scientist how can you tell me where is the middle of the fire can you like for example our creation we will use the fibonacci spiral to know how it was created Maybe but that's why Iblis thought he was better than he us. was better than us yes but in reality allah Azza he said in the quran that there's a tree for the fires tree for the fires and how people explain that they said why they three because it has certain level for example the first fire is a regular one the second one is blue the third one is red the fourth one mm. you can still explain that but in reality there is a tree of, fly of fire that we still don't really know about and for example if you go to the anti-matter world we still till this moment will say anti-matter world is a negative word but till this moment we don't have the element of that word are they atoms yeah they will say yes for example electrons over here over there there will be different minus electrons they have a different name but they will be minus that universe but the philosopher of stone yes exists it does exist the philosopher stone exists but what is existing is is between those four element with the fifth one the nafs the nafs here that's why they in the myth say you have to kill someone to keep the spirit inside but in reality if you're gonna go deeper in that let's ask ourselves for example now nature outside if you go to the plant and you cut the plant you think the plant will you think the plant is is uh, it ha it has a spirit inside for example when you cut it, it will start screaming please don't cut me don't cut me i'm in pain now you think it does have that no it doesn't have why because all what is made from is what is made from the fourth el four element only no, it's not like you it does it's not made from the fifth element this is where the element is missing element for you to create the 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 stone philosopher's stone if you want to ask about uh, wh what do i mean by that for example if you bring the tree and then you put it in the ground you dig the ground and then you put it inside you cover the ground later after you're gonna come by you're gonna open you're not gonna find anything why because everything will go back to the way it was before it will be dissolved same thing like our body will be dissolved but there's some stuff inside our bodies won't be dissolved and those ones those pieces that they won't dissolve they will be the pieces that what they will bring you the fifth element of the philosopher's stone now i'm giving you just little hint you see if you compare those ones those two together for example if you bring the animal the animal will we share the same matter with them they have cells they have so on but they have a mini spirit not like our spirit we say they have spirits but for example if you they in a dna if they when you study dna if you remember dolly 
it was the first animal was cloned mm. doll in 1998 it was the first animal the scientists they succeed to clone mm. but till this moment they didn't succeed to clone a human being why because you any animal you can clone immediately he will survive but a human being when they're trying to clone him what's gonna happen he will born dead you see this element over here is the fifth element that I kept, I kept talking about yes this is the fifth fifth element over here That's but Herculeus Herculea element Herculea element yes so are we able to get this element yes but we still need to study it more and more and more and how we study that by the flower of life the tree of life and studying each element by the, the real what what does exactly make this uh, for example till this moment if you search what is fire people will make fun of you say fire is just a regular so and so and it doesn't have density and all this thing but in reality fire is number zero fire is number zero in in, in the scale of mathematics why because it does burn it will take anything and will burn it they take it from the existence to non-existent even though it is transfer people say it will transfer energy yeah yes the light is what is made from fire it's for the ratio of of uh, this is out the subject but the ratio of of uh, light is four to one from fire and this is it has a different subject inshallah later in the future we we can talk about it so if you were gonna come to the end at the very end of this uh, this lecture what we what is the the essence of this lecture the essence of this lecture saying even if people they talked about they talked about the philosophy the stone of philosophers i'm saying i'm confirming that it does exist but not in a way that they're making it now because this the philosopher's stone has two kind the white kind and the red kind the white kind is from planets and the red kind from the other dimensions and it's what I called it from the Herculeus dimension okay inshallah in the future if we open a lab or people will support this work will be able to prove what I'm all what I'm saying but inshallah uh, I'm just showing you now if you didn't care about the stone of life you'll be you'll care you will care about what you exist from and how Allah Azza wa Jal created everything and how all this important for you to advance your life and to know Allah Azza wa Jal more and more يا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لا في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصلوا بالحق وتواصلوا بالصبر. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.